All right, so today we're gonna run through a sample day of eating what I eat in a day. Three weeks out from my first competition, um, full day of eating. So just actually walking to the supermarket right now because I have run out of certain food. So I'm gonna go stock up on those and um, get to it. And the beach right here is on the way to Woolworths. I got my bag, I'm actually being responsible for a change. I never, ever, ever, ever take bags with me to the supermarket. I'm always driving there and just buying more bags all the time. And now I just walk there. So, uh, you know, it's a very good early start to the day, um, 7 a.m. over here, and just gonna get my steps in, get my food, get back to the house, get some food in, and show you guys exactly what I eat in a day. All right, it's time for meal one. Just to give you guys a brief overview of what my diet is like three weeks out from my first competition, basically everything gets measured. Everything gets weighed with this scale. I just got back from Bali. I was overseas for three weeks. This came with me. I weighed, I would say probably 80% of the foods that I consumed was weighed with this food scale or it was pre-measured uh, either at like the fruit and vegetable um, store or in the packets of food like noodles and tuna and things like that that I had to just eat while I was on the go traveling. But food scale comes with me everywhere. Every single thing I eat is measured, it's tracked. And for me personally right now, like I love flexible dieting. I love eating Nutella. Nutella is in my cupboard right now, but it's on the bottom shelf at the back. I don't even wanna see it, think about it, smell it at all, right? But I love flexible dieting for so many reasons and so many purposes and so many scenarios. However, however, if you are, say, on the day of a photo shoot, you're in a week prior to your competition, you have a specific event on, we wanna be very specific with what we eat, how much we eat, how much hydration we get, um, and being consistent with that so we can see how your body responds, basically, and then make adjustments as needed. So what I decided to do when I got back from Bali is basically just eat the exact same foods for the next three weeks, um, and the quantities may change based on how things are progressing, but I wanna eat the same foods at similar times. Also have a very similar amount of hydration every day. So I bought this little drink bottle, um, stainless steel one, which is really good to be honest, 600 mils. So I'm tracking that. And I'm also keeping an eye on my electrolyte intake as well. So by doing this, Basically, I'm controlling the total amount of calories coming in. I'm controlling the protein, carbs, fats, and fiber as well. I'm getting a good amount of fiber. I'm also controlling the amount of liquid volume in total and sodium and pot potassium. So you can't really screw things up. If you're in a calorie deficit and you're doing all of those things, which might seem a bit excessive to a lot of people, if you're doing all of those things, you will see the weight trending down, right? Unless you're making adjustments along the way. So you might decide, hey, I wanna play around with having more salt and see how my body responds to that. Well, that might result in more fluid retention, so your scale weight might go up. Or you might decide to have something like a refeed day, which is actually what I'm doing now, which is a higher calorie intake day, a higher carb day. But this will still give you, you know, a good overview of what I would eat on a day-to-day -day basis right now. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now with my prep. I wanna be very consistent throughout this whole contest prep. It's been flexible dieting. It's been eating whatever I want. You know, I was in Bali for three weeks, like I said, and I ate whatever was around, whatever was available, and I enjoyed it. But now it's like kind of crunch time. I wanna make sure that I look my best and there's minimal variables. Now, um, this morning I had woke up and I had 600 mils of water. Then I did some posing practice. I had two shots of coffee and with water, I'm gonna give you guys some you know, education along the way as well. So with water, um, the quicker you drink water, the quicker your body's going to want to remove it. If too much is coming in, it wants to get rid of it, right? That's with most, most uh, nutrients that we consume, most things that we consume actually. So your body, too much coming in, your body wants to maintain homeostasis, just balance, so it gets rid of it. So the first 600 mils of water that I drink is quick. I just smash it down, I get it down as fast as I can. But then the next 600 mils that I drink might take me you know, 30 minutes to drink, right? And then the next 600 mils might take me 
45 to an hour to drink. And then I just start sipping my water throughout the day. If you can sip your water throughout the day, you'll be a lot more hydrated than just trying to smash heaps of water down as much as possible early in the day because your body will actually remove that and then you'll be more thirsty. And uh, it's funny because this morning I smashed that 600 mils fast, took one of these with me when I walked to get my groceries and on the way back, I was super thirsty. Um, so I gotta keep drinking this. And we just sip as we go. Anyways, meal number one, what exactly is it? Super simple, I'll show you guys. So actually, I've got to add this to the mix as well. Some creatine monohydrate, cannot forget that. So I have whey protein, I have rice crackers, I have peanut butter, and I have banana. Now these particular foods are selected for a very specific reason, to be honest. So this is obviously carbohydrates. This is gonna give me some fats. This is gonna give me some fiber and some potassium as well. It's gonna give me plenty of protein and it's gonna give me gains, right? We all want some gains. So basically keeping it nice and simple, every single meal that I eat across the day is different. So I don't bulk cook chicken or bulk cook, you know, rice or vegetables or anything like that because each meal, five meals a day, they're all different meals across the day. So it doesn't really get boring, to be honest. It's not like, you know, back in the day, bodybuilders would just eat chicken, rice, and vegetables three meals a day. You know, I'd get people signing up to my coaching or personal training and they're like, meal one, eggs and oats. Meal two, chicken, rice, vegetables. Meal three, same as meal two. Meal four, same as meal two. It's like, come on guys. You can actually be a little bit more adventurous with that for sure. So basically I have four rice cakes in the morning which is typically around 30 grams uh, in total weight. I have 15 grams of peanut butter spread over that, 60 grams of banana, and 50 grams of whey protein isolate, five grams of creatine. My total calorie intake for the day, I'm gonna tell you at the end of this video actually, so you'll get a better idea. You can kind of track it as, you, as I go along. Um, this is gonna be fun, so we'll see how we go. I'm gonna just put this together and I'll speak to you guys soon. So this is what I normally have pre-workout to be honest, which is why it is what it is. It digests really well, easy to get down. And I normally have 30 grams of Staminade, which is pretty much like Gatorade or Powerade, like a sports drink with some salt added to it. And then I'd go to the gym. Today's a rest day. So I will still have the Staminade because like I said, I want to keep things nice and consistent, uh, but I'll eat this first, then I'll get it down, probably chuck the creatine in there as well. And we'll be good to go. All right, meal number two, this is what I'm having. Nice and simple, I'm gonna have some Greek yogurt, with some cut up apple mixed in, some raspberries mixed in, a little bit of peanut butter, and then I'm gonna have some coconut water on the side. Nice and simple, three, two, one, boom. And there it is, 300 grams of Greek yogurt, 100 grams of apple, 60 grams of raspberries, 15 grams of peanut butter, and 250 mils of coconut water. I'm gonna take this with me on the go. Actually, I'm just gonna smash it right now. I wanna eat this right now and get out of here. So one thing you'll notice with my meals so far is that they are very convenient, but they also pack a whole lot of nutrients. So obviously like with breakfast, I had some fruits, I had proteins, obviously. Here again, I've got some more fruit. Um, there's no foods that I skip out. There's no foods that I need to avoid, but at the same time, I'm not adding in a bunch of like sweeteners and you know, 15 different ingredients to make a simple high protein, moderate carbohydrate lower fat meal that's going to serve my current purpose towards my bodybuilding competition. So sometimes people get a bit too caught up on eating fun foods, making food delicious, having fake away instead of takeaway. And it actually makes them a little, a lot more focused actually on and fixated on food, on cravings, on hunger, on when's the next exciting meal. And they end up being on my fitness pal a lot more, just tracking their food, trying to think what can I fit in, what can I, maybe I'll take this out so I can fit this in. And it's just too much, like I've been there before. So, hey, like put my hand up, I used to be that person. And taking this more simplified approach with my nutrition in this whole contest prep where I'm not fixated on making food as delicious as possible, I'm just eating towards improved health, eating towards my goals. Uh, and improving my performance as well and having good digestion. 
And all these things result in the foods that I eat. And then these kind of meals are the meals that I will then suggest that my clients eat as well because they have purpose. Now, for some of my clients, instead of having something like this, they might do a flavored yogurt like uh, coconut flavored chobani. So coconut flavored Greek yogurt with some Nutella mixed in and a banana on the side or an apple on the side, something like that. So they get a bit more fun, right? Because there's more calories to play with in some scenarios. Now I could have coconut yogurt and Nutella with this, but I would have to pull out some other calories here. So I'd have to maybe pull out the raspberries, pull out the apple. Uh, food volume will go down a bit and I'll probably just want more Nutella. So I'm not gonna do that. But anyways, I've got the coconut water as well, just to obviously increase potassium intake. And uh, so the electrolyte potassium. And generally, I would throw a bit of salt in there as well when I drink it. That's meal number two. All right, right here, I've done the prep work already, but we've got meal number three. This is my typical lunch meal. I'll have some green beans, some white potato, some carrot, chicken breast with a few different seasonings, and a little bit of Nando sauce on top. Got some visitors on their way right now, so I'm gonna do this up really quickly, put it together, throw my herbs and spices, and um, just be all over it. Uh, if you wanted to do a dance or something. Is it a dance? So that third meal was 180 grams of chicken breast, 200 grams of white potato, 100 grams of carrot, and 150 grams of green beans. Everything fresh. I used to have frozen vegetables. I still do sometimes, very rarely though. Um, I just like it fresh. I actually enjoy the process of cooking, to be honest, and preparing meals, probably because I'm in a calorie deficit. I think being in a deficit adds to your excitement of preparing your meals, etc. But even just the psychology for me personally of being in control of your body composition as a bodybuilder, you wanna control your training, your sleep, your hydration, your nutrition, you wanna prep your own meals. There's just something about it that makes you feel like you've put the work in yourself, you know what I mean? Like you've really achieved these things on your own, which is one of the reasons why I don't get meal prep services typically. So it's not very often that I'll say, you know what, I might get my meals prepped for me or whatever. It's convenient, but it takes away the excitement of being in control of the whole process when it comes to refining your physique. So yeah, that was meal number three. I've got two more meals to go. Uh, it's been a fun and busy day today. Uh, but just getting the food in pretty much every three hours at this point for the sole purpose of getting them in on time so I can get to bed earlier tonight and um, stick to a sleep-wake cycle that I want to commit to, which is like 9 p.m., be sleeping, wake up at 4 a.m. It's kind of what I want to go for. And the past few days has not been that way at all, so I'm a little bit sleep-deprived right now. So eating every three hours just gets these meals in a little bit quicker and allows me to get to bed sooner. I just finished up in the sauna, went on the treadmill, did some steps, hit my steps target for the day, um, went in the sauna, gonna go in the spa in a minute, but first gonna have meal number four, which is right here. So what we've got here is another 250 mils of coconut water, and then in here, I've got um, a baby leaf spinach, 30 grams, 100 grams of zucchini, 100 grams of tomato, 250 grams of basmati rice and two cans of tuna. Now, earlier today I said I had a, a refeed day today. Normally that rice would not be here in this meal. Normally it's just gonna be tuna, two cans, zucchini, tomato, leafy, uh, spinach, and coconut water. I get to have rice today as an addition and also earlier today as a refeed day, I also had four crumpets and 100 grams of jam as well, which I did film as well, so I'll chuck it on the screen now. Just to confirm, that is only for refeed days, and that is twice a week right now. All right, we are finally at the last meal of the day. This one is a classic for my clients. Any client of mine that watches this video will be like, Denver, are you just copying my meal plan because you're eating the same foods as me. And yes, I am. I am copying your meal plan. Why? Because your meal plans are amazing. Why? Because I wrote them. Anyways, what we're gonna have is very simple again, sticking to foods that my body is accustomed to, foods that I've already consumed. Um, 
throughout this whole week and last week, etc. And it is the classic mince, uh, potatoes, green beans. I use some salted butter for um, instead of oil just to mix it up. And last but not least is in the fridge actually some. In here I've got diced tomato with basil. So what I do is just do five grams of butter on the pan, 180 grams of mince, diced tomatoes, mix that together, add a bit of salt, do the potatoes, do the green beans, and we're good to go. Check it out. And there's actually one small addition to this meal, which is an onion. I've been lazy. Last week I didn't have onions, didn't put it in my meal plan, but diced up, chopped up onion with this perfect combination. And that is it, my final meal of the day. Should I flex? I guess I should. As you might notice, my muscles actually are a lot fuller now than they were this morning because of the higher carbohydrate intake, um, having sufficient water throughout the day, and just eating more food in general. Um, end of the day, you're always gonna be fuller. At the end of the day, you're always going to be fuller than in the mornings. Uh, but to add to that, I am going to look fuller tomorrow morning, I think, and tighter as well. And also, there's a lot more room to fill out, a lot more room to fill out. You can, just by pinching your skin like this, you can always tell if there's more room for your muscles to fill out. However, my focus is fat loss still. So I'm still in a calorie deficit. These refeed days are just there to boost, fill out my muscles a bit, give me more energy, help with my mental focus, help with digestion, help with bowel movement, things like that. So, it's controlled. Now, let's just talk about macros before we end this and I eat this right now. So, the macros, Monday to Friday, dieting days, is around 200 grams of protein, 200 grams of carbs, and 45 grams of fat. So not many calories at all. My fitness pal clocks it at like 205, 205, and 44, or something like that, when I track it in there. Um, today's macros would have been about 200 grams of protein, 400 grams of carbs, and 45 grams of fat again, or 50 grams of fat. Um, but with the crumpets, it bumps it up a little bit with the protein. So today's macros were 212 grams of protein, no, 220 grams of protein, and uh, 414 grams of carbs, and only 44 grams of fat. So very, very low fat. Okay, so it turns out my phone ran out of storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this now. That's my full day of eating, three weeks out. Back to the lower calorie intake tomorrow. I'm gonna miss the crumpets, jam, and rice that was delicious today. And given that today was a rest day, will mean that I've got a lot more energy tomorrow. Whereas yesterday was a refeed day as well, but I trained legs and I did way more steps than I planned on doing just because I was out with a friend. So that's it from me. Um, catch you at the next video. Douche.